A South Miami Dade community is mourning the loss of a 15 year old Demarion Bailey. He is shot and killed over the weekend. His killer, according to family members, was a lifelong friend. Mm, this is such a difficult story. CBS News Miami's Terry Hornstein is live outside the jail in West Miami Dade with details on this investigation. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. The story is just so sad. This family devastated, as you can imagine. The suspect here in jail this morning, and we now know expected in court later on. And well, family tells us the suspect and the 15-year-old who were shot, who was shot and killed, well, they were lifelong friends. An emotional night for family and friends of 15-year-old Damarion Bailey. Candles lit in his honor outside of the Florida City home where the teen took his last breath. He didn't deserve this. Be careful, baby. The family don't deserve to be he hurt the way we are. Only thing we have now of Damarion is memories. According to police, Bailey and 18-year-old Jerron Smith were hanging out at a home off of Northwest 13th Street and 4th Avenue Saturday morning around 1030 when two guys on bicycles showed up. Police say Smith started shooting, and in the chaos, Bailey was struck in the head. He was the sweetest kid you ever want to meet. Real sweet. Everybody talked highly about him. I love him, and he's just like my own child. Bailey, whose nickname was Man Man, is described as shy, kind, and respectful, and just enjoyed being a kid. Loved ones say Bailey and Smith were childhood friends. Him and my grandson were best friends. They've been best friends ever since he was a little old boy coming up. They've been the best of friends. What happened though? I don't know. According to an arrest report, Smith confessed. Bailey's family grateful for the arrest, but left devastated. I thank God for all the support. Yeah, but I couldn't do it down here. It just shocked us all, honestly. Um, just trying to get our mind about, around everything that's going on right now. Yeah, you just have to feel for this poor family. Now, Smith is facing a second degree murder charge. Again, he is expected in court later on this morning where he will hear the charges against him. We're live this morning in Northwest Miami Dade. Terry Hornstein, CBS News, Miami.